now, just before we leave, time to play our feature, A Night at the Darts, as we do with all our guests, Glenn. So, you know, you're not getting missed out. Right, this is A Night at the Darts, then, with Glenn Durrant. First of all, what would your fancy dress be? This is if you're just, you know, enjoying it. Miss Rachel. What? Miss Rachel? Who? What? <laughs> you don't know Miss Rachel? Say again. What are you... That's all I'm watching these days. I'm a granddad now. Oh, okay. So I'd get my dungarees on, pink t-shirt, and I'd go as Miss Rachel. Wow. Are we going to have to Google that after or something? You... No, you know. I... You don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, know. I'm, no. Fair enough. You're too young. I'm no, too young. No, Obviously too... not too old. <laughs> Surely. You're too young because you've got to be a granddad to right. be one. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. yeah or be like yeah. right. one year old. Yeah. Yeah. Um, would you be sat at a table or in stands? Table. Yeah. Um, which two players, past or present, are you watching and why? Jockey Wilson, mm -hmm. because of 1989 factor for me, and Phil Taylor. Uh, yeah, just amazing. Phil Taylor, Jockey Wilson. Quality. I'd have put 50p on that being Jockey Wilson annihilating Chris Doby. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even got to Edgar yet, have I? <laughs> um, what venue would you go to and why? Blackpool. Blackpool it yeah. is it is really special and I like the fact that it's not so massive and the heat is just blisteringly hot in there and it, it's a very knowledgeable crowd and just a wonderful place to play darts. Hang on, hang on, right, knowledgeable crowd. I hear this every... Now, I think that might have been the case. I think the most knowledgeable crowd in darts are the ones who go to Minehead for an entire weekend. You are, you you can go to Blackpool now for a night at the door. You see the big names, big tournament. Yeah, that's brilliant. But you're going to get fans who are more casual fans. They just want the big experience. The hardcore fans, you 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 have to love darts to spend three days down in Minehead watching non-stop darts. The They're problem, the most knowledgeable. The only problem I have with that is the UK Open and uh, what's uh, the first the final. I never got past the first round in either at mine. So I never met the crowd. <laughs> That's fair enough. Um, what would you write on your sign? I love Miss Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> I should have read this, shouldn't I? Yeah. Um, what this is, this is always a tough time? one to be fair. I think I went to the Premier League this year and I think I wrote something like former Premier League champion. Ah, I think I wrote something right. like that. Yeah, I, think it, I think it did get on. Quality. What food would you have? Have you heard of the Palmo? I knew it would be Palmo. No. Yeah. You never heard of a Palmo? No. Because <laughs> I, I do sort of mention Middlesbrough Palmo. What's the yeah. other thing? I wax lyrical, do apparently? Uh, Middlesbrough and Palmo are the yeah. two main ones, to be honest, Glenn. Chicken and cheese, basically. About 4,000 calories a serving. Lovely. But I'm down to two a day. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's the important doing step. Well. Um, and lastly, which three famous people are you sharing your evening with? I've only been starstruck once. I'm going to go with Ronnie O'Sullivan. Oh, cool. uh, I dropped my bag and <laughs> oh gosh, I just was just <laughs> rubbish. And uh, said to Muhammad Ali, I'm a huge boxing fan. Okay. And I'm going to go for a game of billiards, and it's called Dave Causey. Oh. Wow. Billiards is a, was a, my first sport. Yeah. T side have produced many, many world champions. It's not recognised. It's it, you only hear of Snoop. You've very, very rarely seen it. And I think Dave's won it about eight times and gets no recognition. I get all the titles when I win one in Middlesbrough, and <laughs> he gets nothing. So Dave Causier is a, is a real hero of mine. Right. Uh, sounds like a good night. That sounds like a really good night in your dungarees. There you have it. Then. <laughs> yeah, you're you are a um... children's TV character when you meet Muhammad Ali <laughs> first time. What are you doing? Uh, I've learned something about preparation. I didn't get them. <laughs> and I think I might regret Miss Rachel for a long, long time. <laughs>